Hello guys and welcome back to the Jan Sitska campaign. We're in the third chapter, the Iron Lords. Let's go. Let's do it. Despite my skill as a commander, I cannot say that I am a great man. But I was fortunate to be alive at the same time as one. And even luckier to join his ranks. That man was the reformer, Jan Hus. Hus saw through the hypocrisies of our leaders and criticized them openly. The clergy and nobility, he said, exploited the common folk and denied them the wine in the holy act of communion. He was fearless and the Pope was terrified of him. Hus was charged with heresy and the holy Roman Emperor Sigismund pledged him safe passage to Constance to defend himself. But the foul knave reneged on his word and handed Hus over for execution. Resolute to the last, Hus remained true to his cause even as the flames took him. The tidings of Hus's brutal end sent Bohemia into a frenzy. With unbridled rage, we Husites stormed the town hall in Prague and hurled royalist officials through its windows. Powerless to contain the chaos, King Wenceslaus died of shock, causing the hated Sigismund to lay claim to the throne. Now, as we prepare for all-out war, some Hussites have journeyed to the south and rebuilt an abandoned fortress into the citadel of Tabor. I march to join them, but our route is fraught with peril. A league of ruthless noblemen known as the Iron Lords have sworn death to any Hussite that they meet. And most of our army consists of untrained peasants, men and even some women who have never seen a day of battle. If we are to survive an onslaught of armored knights, these untrained commoners will have to turn wagons into weapons and fight in a way never seen before. So it's Hussite wagon. I always said Hussite. Husset Hussite Husset wagons. Hussite Hussite. He died of shock, guys. Died of shock. Okay. So main objectives. At least ten units, including three Hussite wagons, must reach Tabor. Okay, so we gotta keep those alive. Jan Ziska is restricted to the castle age and can support a population limit of 150. The Iron Lords prowl the route to Tabor. Keep uh, to preserve the integrity of your force, use dense terrain and elevation advantageously and fight only when absolutely necessary. The Taburities have quarried most of the nearby stone to build their fortress. Additional stone must be sought in enemy territory. The Hussites are peasants with only rudimentary war materials at their disposal. Plunder enemy armories and estates to acquire more advanced armor and weapons. Although Jan Siska and his Hussites cannot currently recruit knights, the Bohemians can train powerful Henkeners in the castle age, provided that they can somehow obtain the knowledge chemistry. Jan Siska's Hussite army has just left Pilsen and is marching to reinforce the allied fortress of Tabor, which is located on the east of the map. The Iron Lords have re reneged ren reneged reneged ren reneged reneged Renaged. How do you say that? I'm, that's a word I've never seen before. Renewed. <laughs> what is this? Reneged. Uh, on their peace agreement with Siska, and now scour the countryside for him and his army. Their forces of cavalry and infantry block the route uh, route to Tabor and defend several estates, estates and armories scattered throughout the map. Renegged. Okay. Three major enemy fortresses dominate the region. Sedlek lies to the north and is defended by pikemen, skirmishers, and scorpions. Pisek is situated to the southwest and will field armies of cavalry uh, and mangonels. And Prachatis towers uh, over the southeast region. Its forces consist of swordsmen, crossbowmen, and rams. All right. March on the double, Hussites! The Iron Lords are hot on our tail! All right, as you wish. So we have Jan here. So we have, we have 
This is like a tutelage army. I feel like I'm way too far zoomed out. Okay, we have a very tricky army here, but three of these guys must survive. Let's see. I have no idea why that volume is so low compared to everything else. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Whoa! Fight! Oh, that's a good start. Oh, I know what's happening. I'm trying to click attack move. But that's not the move command in this game. We do patrol here. Alright, we lost one. A eh, great start. Jan Siska already... Wait! This bridge is one route to Tabor, but it is heavily guarded. Perhaps we should sneak through the swamps to the southeast instead. Jan is injured, guys. So he doesn't... He doesn't get healed as a hero. You see, his HP doesn't go up. Makes sense with his uh, bandage there. But... Okay, that's... Means we have to be careful. What do they say now? Um... The bridge is one road to Tabor, but it is heavily guarded. Perhaps we should seek, sneak through the swamps to the southeast instead. Sounds good to me. Those... Hussite... Oh, sorry. Hussite wagons are so awkward and clunky to control. Rip you out like a clump of reeds, root and stem. Steady on who sights. We have them right where we want them. Close formation and prepare to fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is part of the plan. Sneaking through the mud. Calculated. It's a good fight for us. I mean, in the end, I just need my. Who seat wagons to survive, so doesn't really matter if I lose everything else. And we are pretty close to the city anyway, so no worries here. Okay, yeah, we should be we should be getting there quite easily now. Hopefully, we don't have too many more troops left. I guess we're here? 10 units, including 3. Okay. Oh, wait. True. We actually needed 10 units in total. So this could have been ugly if I lost all my... If I lost more archers as well. But we're fine. We're fine. The only 10 units. Yeah, I, I recognize that pay hall. I assume we're going to get control of the city. And then we'll get new missions from there. I will try my best. Yeah, we got a nice tease there, nice tease there. We have 150 population limit. Cannot go to the Imperial Age. We could make Hanker Nears though. But for some reason I cannot research chemistry. So that will be something we have to earn through some other quest. Need to destroy two castles. Destroy the castle in two of the three enemy fortresses. Okay. And Jan still doesn't heal. From the Iron Lords, Jan. True warriors from real castles now issue forth against you. I don't know. I th don't think I could hear him even on the maximum volume. He is so low. Okay. Let's buy some food to speed up our boom. Herbal medicine. I don't. Who sides fight for a cause through sanctity and fervor? Your villagers 
will prove hardy in the face of enemy attacks. That's true. Our weapons and supplies are few, but perhaps we can seize what we need from our enemies. Sounds good. So they want me to research Sanctity as well. We'll do it. All good. Okay, so they want us to take some supplies there as well. I'm fine with that. But for now we just gotta get our eco running. Jan is healed up, but I don't feel safe using him. He feels quite weak. Okay. I did this on purpose to make it so you cannot farm around the town center. Just to annoy you. Okay, we'll go have a look down here. I assume taking out stuff here will give us chemistry down the road. And hand cleaners would be pretty nice. And also good to micro, so... I think it makes sense to aim for that. That's just a complete waste for them. Fine by me. Let's find out how much armor they have here. Maybe the Hussite wagons will be enough to... Yeah, maybe not. Wait, are they... Guys, I have a game theory question. Do Hussite wagons benefit from ballistics? Question mark. Someone will know, right? No. Okay. Makes sense, they're gunpowder units. Yeah, okay. Good. Fair enough. <laughs> Lamey. Yeah, they don't actually have too much too many units here. We can probably clean this up. And maybe uh They don't have murder holes, they are castle age. There's a chance they don't have murder holes. No. I don't have enough to clean this. Especially with a guy that doesn't heal. But Wait, they said we couldn't build knights either yet, right? Oh yeah, we cannot. Well, this is awkward. I guess we go for siege. We have bonus damage on our pikemen. Wait, we can't even do pikemen. We are very limited in terms of technology. The two rams. I guess we're going Hussite wagons and siege. Seems to be the oh, logical thing to do. Not impossible that this tower will go down. We can just go on to the next one. Okay, two ramps. I think we're good. Ballistics almost in. We're actually very limited. Can I? Can't even build a blacksmith. You're very limited in terms of your choices uh, early on here. I know spears do 25% extra damage, but spearmen are still spearmen. No matter how you word it. They're not pikemen. Okay, let's 66 bills. I guess we make three more, and we have the perfect number, and then we're ready to uh, work on that. I mean, there's a blacksmith here. I guess we got some upgrades when we take this out there as well. Trade workshop as well. We work our way to uh, probably the upgrades that we want. 
They're being quite wasteful there. Not that I'm complaining. Um, TJ, can you send me a message on Discord, maybe? If there is something. Let's see what we get here. They're putting in some pressure on our castle, actually, but... Still, when we have this amount of towers, I don't think... Oh, we didn't actually have more rolls. I think this is not scary. Alright, what do we get? Chainmail, armor, and pikemen. Good. I'll, I will allow that. Let's move on to the next one. There's the castle. We can go for this one. Find out what armor they have there. I'll prepare a second wave. Foolish peasants could actually know how to brandish such fine armaments. No idea what it means. Yeah, we prepare, we prepare, we prepare a second attack on, on this side. While well, we scout what we need for the bottom side. And we take it from there. I realized I said I would stop making vills. Uh, I lied. Apparently. Meh. That one is definitely... Wait, this also impacts... Never thought about this, but this actually makes hand cannoners move 15% faster. That is pretty insane, actually. Big attack incoming. I never actually thought about the fact that they are... That will also be bringing more movement speed to hand cannoners. Very interesting indeed. Okay, let's see what they got there. Oh, I did not want to fight those, just the green ones. I'm not really worried here because we have the castle that defends us. If I have stone anywhere, I would not mind getting a second castle. Pick up that production. Maybe even buy another castle. We can probably afford it. Let's do it. Fits nicely with the wall. Aesthetically pleasing. Okay, we'll get some new upgrades here. Oh. They already have uh, chemistry cheaters. We have seized valuable equipment from this arsenal. What we got? Leather, archer armor, and elite skirmisher. I guess it's better than nothing, but. Not very impressive still. Guess we'll end up just making Hussard Wagons until we get the chemistry and then we'll also add in uh, Yankin and Ears. That seems to be the, the way to go here. I would also love still to find some stone. Uh, not looking like there is any available for the time being. I think I put way too many bills on wood. Uh, on food, sorry. Okay, that's good. There's also a trade workshop here, so we'll definitely get something extra there. Be it resources or maybe chemistry, who knows? Yeah, is still fine. Oh, I'm just wasting all my rams. Yep. Should probably go more heaven wood considering I'm only making wood gold army at the moment. Wheel speed seem broken. I forgot to do this today, by the way. 
You're saying broken as in that it's too strong, or are you saying broken as it it's not working? Either way, it's it's something. It's an issue. Yeah, I I think them getting the speed bonus is very strong indeed. Whether it's broken or not, I don't know if I would say that, but it is very strong. God, the damage output of these guys is so inconsistent. Okay, he's starting healing now, by the way. I'm not sure what changed there. There was a pop-up at some point. Yeah, why am I farming? That's a good point. It's just habit, right? Old habits die hard. I'm quite disappointed in how bad my wagons are doing, honestly. I expected more. They're obviously doing the trick to a certain extent, but... They're just so... Damage output is quite low overall. DPS, you can say. But the only real damage they do is the big, big bullet, right? The trickle small shots they do is not very, very scary. Gotta be careful with Jan. It didn't say anything about Jan staying. Wait, so destroy enemy blacksmiths, destroy enemy tracker. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. Um, didn't say anything about keeping Jan alive. Not like I'm gonna try and lose him on purpose just because of that, but you know. Let's repair this thing. We are very close to the castle. Might as well go for it while we're here. We're starting to get the snowball military. Wangs are meant to be used in conjunction with crossbows. True, but when you only have archers, I don't really want to do it with spearmen, uh, skirmishers. All right, what we get now? Okay. Valkyrie well, and crossbow. Now we're talking. Noise. Okay, now we're talking. We're getting to a, a good army now. Oh. Okay, we're gonna lose the gate. We can replace it. That's fine. Yeah, I think we can just steamroll straight to the castle. Oh, it's open! Ah, oh, okay. Let's see, do we do these things in buildings, right? Yeah, we'll help. We'll speed that up the process. Oh, oh. Oh, you know what? Let's get some. Let's get an army composition going, yeah. I think that makes sense. But okay. Yeah, this should be uh, smooth sailing from there. He's taking out this castle. There's blacksmiths there as well, I wonder if... But it says green blacksmiths up here. So I'm guessing we won't get anything from destroying things here. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna be population cap now. Maybe I should focus more on rams. Oh! The Iron Lord cannot believe this disgrace. Capram and conscription research. Now we're talking, okay? Now, oh, they are they are not gonna stand a chance now. Okay, let's just do this and this and this for the sake of it. Do arson as well. I guess it doesn't hurt. Resources is not really a problem for us right now. 
Let's switch my Q over there. Yeah, Capturan will speed this up a lot. Stone in the north. Oh, there's a trade post there as well. That I somehow missed. Yeah, there is stone there indeed. I feel like we're not really in the situation where we really need stone anymore, but... Yeah, I mean... Oh. Okay. I cannot click the right hotkey. What is my hotkey for this? See, that's what I'm clicking. Okay. Uh, they seem very indecisive down there. Okay, <laughs> just passing. All right, guys, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, let's move here. Okay, what are we missing down here? This is see, there's a blacksmith down there. Trade workshop. There's not a castle and trade workshop. So I guess we would get chemistry from one of these. I wonder if it is tied to the very building you destroy, or if it's about the number of buildings you destroy. Like if it's coming in the same order, no matter which one you destroy. Let's see. That should be the supplies. Yeah. Your eyes and then your stomachs. Blacksmiths is probably what I would prefer, so I get the technology boosts. <gasps> Micro. Feast your eyes. Tied to the building. Oh, okay. So I would have gotten like fetching whatever it was, no matter what, when I destroyed that specific building. Okay. I guess that it's good for people that do like speedruns and things like that, so they know exactly which building they need to destroy to get what they want to get. Yeah, these attacks are not a concern. You know what, I'm gonna look at my resources. I have way too many villagers. You guys can take a break. You as well. And you as well. And you guys can come forward and build siege where we need them. Do I go? I guess I go there. I want to find what they have there. Get all the upgrades. Take a break forever, indeed. Hey, I'm a kind, kind uh, master, okay? Leader. I give them the rest they deserve. It's in their contract. Garrison yeah, will give them some speed boost. Yeah, it's just a couple of knights here. We'll just send our wagons to take care of that. Let's go for this one. I mean, it's just, just resources. I probably don't even care about that. I would like to see what that one does, though. So how about you guys go together down there? Find out what's happening. Take a break. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I mean, it feels like they have machine guns, but it's still not very impressive. This is one big cannonball. And then the machine guns come and they don't do too much damage. I mean, they, they do the job, don't get me wrong. It's just... Could be better, you know? Oh... It's fine. Okay, let's go for this. Archers in front, exactly how we want it. The fearless leader in the back. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, I realize I'm currently not pop-capped, but at the same time, I'm like... 
population I make right now, I'd rather want it to be like rams coming out on the front because I don't think I think we have good enough of an army to take whatever fight we need to take to win. We just need the siege to be able to destroy what we need to destroy. So that's kind of where my focus is right now. We'll make a castle there as well. Just because, why not? Should get chemistry as well. Sooner or later here. We can make more hand, hand cannoners then. Whoa, 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 wait, okay. Uh, things have been going down while well, I have not been looking around. Uh, okay. Okay. Iron casting and long swords. What's the last one? Chain barding, armor, and chemistry. We still cannot make knights. So the chain barding armor doesn't really... Ooh. There's crossbows here as well, so I don't expect this villager to survive. But okay. Yeah, I mean... Okay. We'll reinforce. Okay, how do we want to do this? I mean, the castle looks like it's not even walled here. Never mind, it's walled. But we can, like, already start a siege. We have a couple of units. And we have hand counters now, so I don't... I think we're gonna have an, a problem beating them. This will probably not be enough to take this castle, but I mean, we can try. I will send Jan back. Ram versus Ram. Yeah, this was not enough here. It's fine, we'll allow it. We're gonna add some ranges to get some hand counters. And we'll start working on the blue base. For now, it's just about getting the numbers to be able to break through. And then the castles. No, you, the, the light car wasn't even attacking my ramps. Look, it, it wants to leave, but the gate is actually <laughs> being blocked by my ramps. Um, do they not sense what where the danger is right now? Wait, is there a second layer? My ramps do not want to attack the castle. I guess there's a second layer. Bam! Yeah, that was weird. It wouldn't go to the castle first. Now it is. For some reason, they're just ignoring my rams, and everything is going to fight the army instead. Not complaining, but that will make it quite easier to uh, complete the mission here. Second castle about to go down. Let me see, I want to see... Yeah, you can, I mean, you can definitely tell that they have 15% movement speed. That's actually really good. I think I'm gonna have to start using Bohemian's hand cannons more. This gives them a lot of micro potential. Maybe like fast castle into hand cannons with Hus with the bonus. Could be a legit strat. You miscreants will pay for this up front. Bring it on, Iron Lords. Wait, I got this castle? With the Iron Lords defeated, we have made safe our new citadel. A small flame of hope now glows in the vast darkness of ignorance. Yeah, like I'm... Again, I've never, I never actually thought about that, but that makes Henkeners have a lot of potential in the castle age. When will the big news be announced? Around 10 p.m. my time, so in like roughly two hours. On the marshy plains of Sudomyrsh, the rabble of peasants became a disciplined army. 
Crouched behind a wall of wagons, 400 Hussites broke charges of knights with volleys of crossbows and hand cannons before charging into the fray with flails fashioned from farm tools. As castle after castle fell, we exacted our grim vengeance. Only one man survived our sack of sedlets, a lord to whom we offered freedom on the condition that he lop off the heads of the other five noblemen standing beside him. Within the smithies and arsenals of the Iron Lords lay enough weapons to equip a small army. As my Hussites took these arms in their hands, I watched a force of commoners begin to realize the previously unimaginable. With faith, discipline, and my astute leadership on the battlefield, the Hussite movement could defy knights, nobles, and even an emperor. Guys, 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 wait. Look at this, look at this. Is this how Hussite wagons was used? You would push it around on wheels, and then you have, like, crossbows and archers whatnot, and hankiners whatnot, where they sit behind the wall there. Because this is a unit I've never heard about or known about in, like, history. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's mobile, you have the wood protection, the shield, and then you have the holes to shoot from. Yeah, makes sense. They protect the infantry from cavalry. What? No, no, it's, it's more protecting the ranged troops, no? You play... Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, we're playing the farmers. That's why we don't have knights. True. It makes sense when you put that into context. We wouldn't have the heavily armored knights and such. And that's also why we start with just spearmen and skirmisher, archer, whatnot. And we got those technologies as we kind of took over. Uh, took over. Anything on the map that we've missed? There's a university here. But I got control of this. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if we would have gotten anything from destroying this earlier. It wasn't lit up or shown on the map anywhere. If anyone knows, would we have gotten anything by destroying this? I don't think so. I realize now as well we had a dock. Could have There was a lot of fish here. That would have been a good boost to our economy. Pikes was used on these wagons against cavalry units. That makes sense. Cool. All right, that was the Iron Lords, the fourth chapter, no, the third chapter of Jan Siska. Coming up next will be the Golden City. I'll see you guys for that one. Goodbye, YouTubes.